believers. <laughs> It was standing room only at the opening of Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren's Evanston Field Office. So, you know, we are an activist community, a progressive community, just right for Elizabeth Warren. Volunteers and supporters came to show their support for the Massachusetts senator. I'm amazed to see just how engaged this community is with each other. Some, quite literally, sang her praises. Get the money men out of Congress because they've been doing bad business there. Even though Warren came in fourth in New Hampshire last week, getting 9.2% of the vote, supporters say they're not worried as the primary heads to Nevada. She's looking for the systematic change. She knows it's needed. I'm convinced. Volunteers here tonight say that the real impact on this campaign won't come from social media, but it'll come from conversations person to person in neighborhoods around offices just like this one. Having a, you know, a, a, a visual presence in a neighborhood gets people to think, it gets people to pay attention. And as Super Tuesday approaches, the campaign didn't waste any time calling for change. My name's Ben. I'm a volunteer with the Elizabeth Warren campaign for president. Am I speaking with Barry? We've got three people going to the polls. Somebody's already voted for Warren. Nothing but slam dunks over here. And while other Democratic candidates don't have a physical office next to campus, that's not keeping students from organizing on social media and in person. Right now, we're canvassing, we're uh, phone banking, and we're text banking throughout like our various members. NU College Dems PR director Adam Downing says the new office gives students a chance to get politically active. You can all of a sudden walk down there, you can see other Northwestern students inside of this space, make a real personal connection, and immediately take action. Former State Senator Daniel Biss says that's what this office wants to take advantage of ahead of next month's Illinois primary. This is just a tool to harness that energy. And I think that's, again, going to really pay dividends on March 17th. Volunteers say they'll still be here, long after the packed crowd from tonight's opening ceremony is gone, building support for Warren, person to person. Andrew Rowan, Northwestern News Network.